I wonder what Mario's doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be all right, princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to skip through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. Hello everybody, welcome back to more Paper Mario 64 with your host Koopa. In the last episode, we saved the first star spirit from the Koopa Burrows Fortress. And in this episode, we're gonna go um, look for a way out of this place as Peach. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using my capture card, it's because, like I said, if I use anything that uses composite cables, um, since I don't have component cables for my systems, it'll appear black and white and I'd rather have color, so I'm doing it this way. And any games I can play on an HDMI thing will be recorded with the capture card. Also, um, I did buy an HDMI to RCA converter, but it didn't quite work. It wouldn't crop the picture right, so... It's not really anything all too good anyway. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Well, okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day zero slash zero month star, sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible, cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know who the person who wrote this is. Should we read more? Read. Okay, let's continue. Day zero X, month star, cloudy then sunny. Today was great, diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable, but I know, so fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. Ugh. What shall we do? Shall we read a little more? Let's read. Day XX, month star, sunny. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I could barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way can, There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the dry of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in the dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. I don't know how to talk that. Dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert. One of the one of the revered star spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Oh no, I can't believe I read... Oh, God, I won't do the Bowser voice anymore. Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. What? 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 What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak. You read my diary. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Yes, sir, straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. Mario, I'll believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison and sealed my power is br and the seal of my power is broken, and I will recover little by little. As long as I have an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. And well, well. Mario can now use Star Spirit's power in battle. Using Star Power requires Star Energy. Would you like to listen? How, will you like to listen while I tell you how to use Star Spirit and Star Energy? No! I don't want to do that. I suggest that you listen. It's very important. Do you want to listen? No! I don't want to listen. Alright, if you say so. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other Star Spirits quickly. 
If seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the Star Rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now to Star back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario. Woo! Okay, now that we got that long dialogue box out of the way, let's. What do you say we save here? And run away. So yeah, I'm sorry I can't really use a capture card with this. I promise I've done everything I can and it just wouldn't work for me. So I'll only be using the capture card for HDMI based consoles that I have. Anyways, you want to use Bombette there to blow up the crack that we saw on our way here that we couldn't do anything about. And if we go this way, we get a treasure chest which contains an FP plus badge. Again, I don't really use the plus badges all that often, but it's not a bad item to have, so you might want to go there. Here's a paratrooper. How close are we to all? Uh, not very close at all. Okay, let's just um, run over here. Like, great. I guess I'll show this battle because I don't really feel like cutting right now. Um, why not? Let's power bounce this jerk. I thought he would have fallen. Dang it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see. There we go. That's the block for him. Um, let's kill Ayu. Okay, let's body slam. Boom! Okay, so we finally went back to school after a after a long online break um, a couple days ago, which was uh, ugh, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like online school. I know I've said it a bunch of before on the channel, and I haven't actually explained the uh, star things and uh, the star energy in battle. I'll do that whenever I need it, but for now, basically you have mystical powers. Whenever you have star energy up in the bar there, you see that we have like one yellow star right next to our HP counter. That's our star energy count, and we can use that to use like certain um, star abilities in battle, which is pretty cool. Alright. Alright, decided to cut that battle out because there was nothing interesting going on. It was just two Goombas, okay. Get away from me, Koopa. Yeah, we're not even close to a level, so... Don't even bother, but here in a little bit we're gonna find... Hold it right there, Mario! I've been waiting for you! Yep, same again. Told you I'll be back, now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby, check this out. Ah! Mario, I'm talking to you, I promise you. This fight will be much different from before. Who's this kid? Let me get this straight. He wants to challenge you? He's gotta be kidding. Shut up! You, Mario, of course you remember me. Yes. That's right, darn toon. I'm Junior Troopa. This time you're really gonna see some fireworks. Alright, Junior Troopa. I guess I should actually come out and identify him. Um, he just did a defense move right there, so... Yeah, like he said, our attacks are useless now. But we're not really gonna attack this turn because we're gonna use Goombario to tattle on him. Alright, let's see. What was his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. Just joking, kid. Max HP is 15, attack power 2, defense power 1. He looks so adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now, I think. So yeah, as he said, his defense is increased when he's in his egg. So yeah, he does 2 attack power. Um, I guess I'll just uh, charge my hammer. And switch to uh, Bombat here. And I guess I'll just be setting up. I'll just be setting up on him. Why not? And let's get a bomb in real quick. There we go. Does four damage. Like I said, bomb um, Bombat's bomb attack pierces defense. So uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it does. All right, increase by two more. Now let's just do nothing here. 
I always like to do this. I always just like to waste all my FP just charging my hammer for a big attack and then just using it. It's so satisfying. Alright, last turn we're gonna do this. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's do nothing again. Alright, and... Let's do this. Boom! Exactly enough. And if you hit him with your hammer, ah, uh, yeah, he just sits there and says, ah. Uh. Anyways, Mario. Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink. Remember me? I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. But enough celebration for now. I come back. I come bearing important, new, important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits has been held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote in his diary someplace called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess ba braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to Her Highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. Well, I mean, in Mario's case it does, but in our case it doesn't because we already knew. Anyways, I think I'll go up and rest in the Toad House here. And I really don't want to start off Chapter 2 in this episode. I'm going to be doing some side things here in Toad Town real quick that we can do. Most notably the uh, Toad Town tunnels that we're going to head to. But first off, I want to show this. Uh, huh. Could have sworn you got a star piece from that. I guess not then. Okay. But here we go. Hey, mister. My dad opened up his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look. So here we have speedy spin, increases the distance that Mario can travel. We have multi-balance. Um, we can jump on all enemies in a row. And with this, we have first attack. Let's Mario destroy an enemy with the first strike. Which is a pretty overpowered badge, but I don't really want to buy any of those badges for me. I don't really use them. The only time I've ever bought those badges is literally just for 100%. Um, but anyways, um, we're going to go into the Toad Town Tunnels here. This is a side thing I wanted to do I was talking about. And we want to go this way. Now we have this hammer and we're going to find some new enemies. So, not Honey Syrup. We want to get out Gumbario. Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't know why he wasn't doing that. Okay. And here we have this enemy. Or two of those enemies. Alright, let's see. Cattle. This is a Gloomba. Gloombas are nasty Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP is 7, attack power is 2, defense power is 0. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. So yeah, they're significantly stronger having a higher attack stat and also much higher HP than normal Goombas. There we go. So yeah, you can't block all damage unfortunately from them. Um, I actually didn't block any damage, that's great. Oh, <sighs> dang it. Whatever. Die. Alright, so here we got that stuff. I'm gonna use up the honey syrup since I'm missing exactly 5 FP right now. There we go. And here we have another new enemy! Boing. Well, two of them now. Uh, shoot. Well, this kind of sucks out of Goombario. Anyway, this is Spiked Goomba. There's Spiked Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP is 7, attack power is 3, defense power is 0. Be careful with the spiked hats they wear, they'll definitely hurt you if you jump on them. Just like regular spiked Goombas, you can't jump on them, so you better use your hammer or any other item attacks. Boom. And unfortunately, oh, unfortunately I can't get the 
timing right there we go um fortunately i don't have a partner that i can attack them without now i'm gonna have to waste goombario's turn changing me to the yeah Oh my god, come on. There we go. And I guess I'll use Refresh here. Just to show it off. So that is basically what your Mystical Star powers are. Yeah, um, Refresh always heals up 5 FP and 5 HP at the same time whenever you need it. But you can see that now that our star meter is completely empty basically to fill it we have to focus which will fill it a significant amount or either that or we can just leave it alone and just keep attacking and it'll gradually increase over time but it's slower than actually oh wait no it doesn't pierce defense what the heck oh i thought it did yeah whatever okay we have a sleepy sheep anyways um what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it will gradually increase uh, the more you attack, but yeah. Okay, so um, the enemy that we're going to have next is going to be a flying enemy, so we're going to have to take out Gumbario. Plus, yeah. Bloober! Alright, let's see here. This is blo this is a blooper. Bloopers lurk around in the dark pools of Toad Town tunnels. Back HP is 30, attack power is 30, defense power is 0. They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Yep, um, basically, Mario lost levels. Anyways, we want to try and power bounce this guy. I believe he does have a very high cap, though, and that wasn't a cap, that was just me being dumb. Okay, there we go, that's his timing on his block. He has two different attacks, he can either do that, or he can, um... Or he can actually just dive out onto you. I really hope I, I'm not gonna- Oh my god, that's not something that could be happening right now. Shoot. I think I might just have to run, because if I don't run, then I'm dead. Oh no, I'm dead. Unless this works. Please work on him? Maybe? Please? Oh, thank god. Alright, we have three turns to take him out, okay. Hopefully we got refresh in that. I'm just gonna waste a turn using focus so we can get a turn of... Okay, there we go, yeah, nice. Okay, that was actually pretty clutch. <laughs> Okay, um, surprised that even worked. Okay, let's do this, and let's heal up, so we can do another power bounce, and also to get more HP so we can take more attacks. Okay, only 11 HP left. Okay, we got this. We got this. Ah, if I stop messing it up, that would be fine. I love that little sound effect. And that's his normal attack. That's his timing on it. This is easier of his two attacks to dodge. And he's dead. And for that, we get not really that great of a badge, a Shrink Stomp badge, basically. You can inflict enemies with Shrink, who you jump on, which will lower their attack power. It's not, I mean, it's kind of useful for enemies that do a lot of damage, like um, the Hyper Goombas in Chapter 3. But I don't really use it that often. I will use it just to show it off, but um, yeah, I don't really use it too often. Anyways... I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time on Paper Mario 64, we will continue on into Chapter 2. See you guys next time.